Hola, mijos. I have a new story. Tonight's story is Esther and Lucky. Here's the picture. Hmm. Got an elephant in it. Let's see what it says. Relax. Close your eyes and picture Esther, an old woman who many years ago had been a celebrated acrobat but now earned her meager living by telling tales about the circus. One night, she had a special delivery that was to change her life forever. Would you like to know what happened? Listen carefully to her story. Esther was sitting alone by the fire when there was a loud knock-knock at the front door. Who can be calling at this time of night, she wondered. She opened the door, but no one was there, and she took a step back and surprised. On the doorstep was a large basket with a baby elephant inside. Esther dragged the, ba the basket into the house. The little elephant went sleeping soundly wrapped in a blanket. Well, my horoscope said I'd received an unexpected delivery. This must be it. She chuckled, smiling at the baby elephant. I'll call her Lucky, she said. Esther never worried about why Lucky had been left on her doorstep. Lucky just needed someone to care for her. And that is what Esther did. There was not much money in circus tales, so Esther took in washing and did any little jobs that would help feed Lucky. Lucky grew into a happy little elephant. Every day she swam with the local children in the pools under the waterfalls in the forest. They shared lemonade and ice cream, picnicking a bump among the ancient moss-covered trees. In autumn, Lucky and the children played chase among the fall leaves. When the winter rolled around, rolled out a carpet of snow, they built snow elephants. Then the air grew warmer and spring brought forth buds on the trees. Many years passed in this way and soon Lucky, Lucky was a fully grown elephant. One day Lucky said to Esther, Come to the woods today. You're looking tired. I'm sure the walk will do you good. But I must go to work, replied Esther. If I don't work, there's no money and if there's no money, there's no food. Lucky hadn't realized that Esther's story storytelling just wasn't wasn't just for fun, or that all the washing was going to get money to buy food. She looked at Esther and saw for the first time that she'd grown old. I'm young and strong, thought Lucky. I have pl I've had plenty of playing. Now I must make time for work. Lucky decided to find some work to earn money. She had no idea what she could do, but she headed off along the river to ask people in the next village if she could help. Heavy rains had washed away the bridge to the village, but luckily, but Lucky calmly waded through the waters. She was met by a cheering cloud of villagers. Since the flood, they had to travel far upriver to find a safe crossing place. The mayor said, Great elephant! We will pay you a silver piece each time you help us cross the river. Happy to help, said a delighted Lucky. She enjoyed chatting to the villagers as she carried them. At the end of the day, the, ma the mayor gave her a pouch full of silver pieces. When she got home, Lucky gave Esther the silver. Now you can stay home and I'll work, said Lucky. Pleased that her work had made such, had made so many people happy. From that day forth, Lucky worked and Esther stayed at home. When Lucky finished her day's work, they'd sit in the garden and Esther would tell stories of the circus, just for the fun of it. Well, what's what do you think the moral of today's story is? Obviously, it's going to have something to do with work. And maybe being happy? Should I think about it? Let's see. Working might not sound like much fun, but 
try to do try doing work that helps other people as well as yourself, you may find that you have even more fun than when you're playing. Huh, imagine that. I love you boys, and I can't wait to see you again. Te amo, buenas noches, hasta luego.